All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover a big factor that's gonna impact your leg endurance and stability, and that has a huge impact on your punching power and your overall endurance. We're gonna work on stance training, or what I call static positions or static holds. Now, these have a number of benefits because in boxing, often what a lot of beginners are thinking about is explosiveness from your start position exploding out. But what you really don't think about that much is deceleration and stability. When you're in your stance boxing, a lot of the motions aren't like this, where you're gonna come out. You're actually holding a stable position while you torque and rotate. So this stability in your lower body is very important. If you look at any traditional martial art, kung fu, karate, taekwondo, you can see that stance training is a huge part of their overall training. They've figured this out. You have to have a strong base. So we're gonna work through exercises that I've been doing for years. And instead of me just telling you how to do it or what to do, we're gonna do this workout right here, right now. Basically, it's a squat hold for one minute, followed by a 30 second break, a single leg lunge hold for one minute, followed by a 30 second break. We're gonna switch to the other side for the other single leg lunge hold, 30 second break, and then we're gonna do the squat hold again for another minute. Now I can assure you that this is no fun. Nobody likes it. Everybody I talk to about this, everybody who I try to get to do this type of training, they don't like it, but it is very effective. When you are boxing, so much of what you do comes down to stopping on a dime. And this is something that I talk about in my footwork video, the ability to stop on a dime. If you haven't been training your legs to stop or for static positions, once you go to move and then throw, your legs will cave. You will have a hard time holding that stance and holding that position. Now, strength training also plays a big role in this because strength training gives you the capacity to resist the amount of weight or force that's going down into your lower body. So that enables you to resist that force. That's why strength training is important. And I have a whole video with Josh Hewitt. I'll leave a link here on strength training for boxing. I do promote strength training for boxing, but it's only important for certain aspects. And that is the total capacity of the muscle to generate force or to resist force. With this stance training, it's a different element. You're working on endurance. You're working on stability. So somebody with a lot of squat power will most likely not be able to hold these static positions for a long time without fatiguing. In boxing, it's all about those muscle fibers that are part of the motion, part of the technique. It's all about them being able to last and recuperate and last and last and be able to generate force from these positions. All right, before we get into the workout, I wanna say that I just got back from You're London, shot. UK, and I had and the goes. best time hosting a Nine. seminar with a group of yeah. excellent boxers, a group of like, dynamic, engaged people. We had the best time and had a great workout. And I'll most likely be doing more of these traveling seminars. I'm thinking next would be either Montreal or Los Angeles. If you think that a seminar in your city would be relevant, then leave your city name below. Some other ones that I get a lot are Philly and Atlanta, so those are possibilities as well. First one is gonna be a squat hold position. We're gonna hold for one minute. And down and go. Now, I like to have my hands out like this, but you can have them anywhere you want, doing whatever. This is just to help keep balance. I want my quads about parallel. I can be slightly up or slightly below. I don't want, if you have a lot of flexibility, you don't want to be sitting on your calves. Don't cheat like that. Hold this position. Now, what will help get you through it is the breathing. So if it's hard, I'm going to take a slow breath in. Take a slow breath out. I'll even count the seconds. And you know maybe four or five breaths. Slow like that and the minute is up. Okay, so hang in there. This is the tough part. We got 10 seconds to go. 30 second break, then we're gonna do single leg each side. All right, so we get a 30 second break right now. Next one, we're gonna do a lunge hold. And the key with that is to have the weight over the quad of the back leg, just like you would in boxing when you throw a punch. You don't wanna cheat and lean forward. And we're gonna hold this for a minute. So let's enjoy this little rest right now, 30 seconds. And we're gonna hold for a static minute. This is no fun, 
really good for you. I guarantee that after a few months, I guarantee that after a few weeks, you're gonna notice the benefit. Okay, ready, hold. I wanna be 90 degrees on the front leg, approximately 90 degrees on the back leg. You can reach through like you're in a punch position. And you might start to feel your legs shake, and that's okay, it goes to show you that this is something you can work on. Okay, it's getting tough. Take a breath in. Exhale. If it gets hard, you go lower. All right, we're almost there. Seven seconds left. Ooh, that was no fun. Okay, let the legs loosen up. And we're gonna do the other side, just for balance. A lot of boxing is stop and start, deceleration going forward and going backward. Get loose, stay relaxed, clear your mind. I like to do this at the end of my workout, so it's up to you. Okay, let's get into that position first. Hold. I prefer to do this at the end of my workout. You can do it at the beginning if you want. If you were gonna do a warm up, you don't really need much of a warm up for this, but if you were, I'd say maybe just a little bit of skipping rope just to get the circulation flowing. Okay, so 90 degrees on the front leg, 90 degrees on the back leg. Weight over the back leg, I don't wanna be here. Okay, we're past halfway, so we're looking good. Breathing. Exhale. All right, nice. Okay, we're not done yet. Again, you should really feel this, especially if you haven't been doing this kind of training, and you can see how this will really benefit your boxing. When you get into that stance and you throw three or four punches, you are solid in that position, turning, rotating, adjusting. You don't really get a break until the exchange is done, or maybe there's a clinch. So your legs are constantly working in that static position. Last one, we're gonna do a final squat. Down. Out and hold. We're gonna hold for one minute. Breathing. I like to breathe into a count of eight. Exhale for a count of eight. Inhale. Two, three, Eight, exhale. Okay, we're almost there. Getting near the 10 second mark. I think we're looking good. Workout's almost over. All right. Nice job. All right, so I hope you guys give that a shot. Static postures, really gonna help with your endurance and your stability. Combine that with your strength training so that you have overall more force and resistance in your lower body with the strength and the stability and endurance together. That's gonna do a lot for your power, for your punching power and for your endurance. The workout itself is no fun. It's boring, it's torture but the benefits are clear and they're big. This is something that's not gonna tax your body too much, you can do it every day. So I'd recommend, if, if you're getting involved in boxing, do this every day for a month. And then after that, you're gonna see that after about a month, it's pretty easy, you won't start to shake, and you're gonna see the benefit in your boxing. And then after that, it depends what you wanna do. You could just do 
uh, it every couple days to maintain the stability after that. So make sure to leave a comment, rep your city for a seminar in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Peace.